Friday, 2023, Brim Australian Open in Sydney Harbour. Just about to start the first day. It's good to be back brim fishing on the harbour after a couple of years. Pre-fish was pretty tough. Hopefully today we go and fish all the good stuff and, um, and the big girls are in there waiting for us. And then we land them. So we are away for the first day of the Daiwa Brim Australian Open on Sydney Harbour, one of Australia's premier brim venues. Straight off a ladder, big one. Sun's tough. It's one thing yesterday if they were on one side of a pole in here, they wouldn't come around to the other side of the pole. It was just, unless you put it on their head, they had no interest. Oh, there he is. There's another one on there actually. It's sinking right on your head. Eat it. Really? Oh, there we go. Oh! That was bad timing. Nibble. Mini one. Ah. Oh. Yeah, let's not do that again. I think this has got six pound on it. I'm not getting bit, I'm just gonna bail. On this bit anyway, I'll go up around the corner. Hello, that's fish, very little. I ain't gotta be 26 tip, oh stop that. 26 tip, so I think that'll probably make that. Oh, easy mate, easy. So it's a um, weigh-in event, which is awesome. So we get to keep them in the tank. So we're using the normal, um, normal catch measure release app, but we're just putting our weights into it as we go. We're in the brim zone, we're on the brim zone. He's nibbling, nibble, 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 nibble. Go. Hey. Oop, that's bigger than I thought. That was way too much line. Here we go. That's getting there. It's similar to yesterday, so the ones that really want it, like really want it, at least they're, um, they're nice and fat at the moment. They're full of food. So I think it's fishing a bit funny. Point, four, two, four. And it was also a brim. It, it's gonna be tough, like it'll be, by the third day, oh man. Everything on the boat's gonna be done. Everything on a dock's gonna be done. Um, you're just literally gonna have to fish everything you've not fished before and hope no one else has done too much on it. Oh, there's a bite. Micro bring. Not waste the spot rigging up. We'll just get a cast in where we can. Damn. Damn. Got off. Okay. Yeah. Surely one like that. Puffed off all the goodness. He's little, luckily. When they're getting it, it's gone, hey, like that is disappeared down his hatch. Well, that's four. 
It's just like two so distinct bites at the moment. Hey, they're either really, really not wanting it and just playing with it, or that's gone. They've eaten it so far down. Look at this thing. I think his mate's got it. Yep. Oh, that's rude. Look at him all. And there's bigger ones down there too. Not wasting my time with these things though. It's very time consuming in here. You chew up like the whole area. You chew up so much time because it is literally so much to fish. But if they turn on, it's on. Like you'll get them. Oh, that was a bad knot. That's all good. You'll get them good. You just, you just got to light the right couple up and stick them. Oh, there's a bite there too. Got him. Oh, that was a good one. There's a like a cable or something in the water. Yeah, it's like an electrical cord hanging down. And I, when he bit it, I just felt like I was around the cable, so I wasn't confident to set the hook. I should have set the hook. Like hard. Oh, that was a little. They're on there. Oh, King chased him. <laughs> Nope. Just the same. Pretty shallow in here, but we'll see where we go. I don't know what to do to get a big one today. It just, just seems like the same, doesn't matter what you do, it's the same thing. Fishing enough of it, a big one's gonna come along, but making it sticks the next bit. So small. I've caught like six the same size as them, eh? <laughs> Wind might be a bit of a jerk. Yeah, a little bit better. We'll put him in the bin anyway. See what I mean? Like a random boat. Ow. It, not a big fish, but better than everything else I've been catching weird. So hard to pick. Number five, I've actually caught a lot of legals, but like very just legals, so I'm not worrying about it because if I put them in, then I've got to put them in the app. Oh, way out that jam, that. Hopefully, it's pretty. Feels like it, but it hit it really hard. So it's better, better, heaps better. Probably like 33 fork maybe, 34, but solid, like fat. How they should be this time of year too. It's, it's, I'm putting them in this side actually. The keeper side, this side's the don't keeper side. Um, that one there is, right there. Wave to me, Cromo, say hi. All right, let's get out of this eight knot zone and start doing some bouncing around, I think. The next stop's actually not that far away. I've got one wharf that had a good good pack of really nice fish on it yesterday that came out and had a look. Let's see if we can get them to eat. I know they're in there, eh? That's the worst bit, they're in there. There 
enemies. Come on, was hungry. Not very big, but he was hungry. Same size. That one's higher. That one's gone. Maybe 10 grams upgrade. Upgrade. Hardly worth it. May need to start measuring them if they're doing that from now on. Oh, I can feel my leader on whatever it is. That's bad. Get off. What are you doing is wrecking everything. You're in that big. That was not worth ruining a leader for. Oh, no, there's one. Oh, I wish I went each day. bigger than I thought it was. That's heaps bigger than I thought it was. Uh oh. Upgrade one. Oh look at his mate man. That might have been the one I was seeing actually. That was a hammer with that thing eh? The upgrade, not by much, but he's upgrade. Just gonna chuck in the ears or that. I think you're in here. I've got one like 33 and the rest of, yeah, 26s. I just got one about 27. Anyway, here's what it is. It's getting a bit tight now. 40 minutes left to catch essentially four decent fish because I've only got one decent one in there. If I hadn't have lost those last two, it would have been a lot easier. this for a little while, we'll see how it goes. That looked like a bite, that was a bite. Oh dear, oh that's fairly solid. Get out of the rock. He really wants to go back home. Just stay on, please. Little help anyway. Just get up. Get up. Oh, the current dragging me. Got it. That'll help. That'll help lots. <laughs> I got arm cramp. Ah! <laughs> Yet when you find them, you'll get them. Like anyone that was on the juice, on the like doing the right thing for the right time and the right bit of the day, we'll have got them good. Like it's not big, it's 34 or something like that. That's heaps bigger than everything that's in you. That makes two okay ones and then many not okay ones. That see, that's what makes the other couple sting even more. It's like if you're gonna suck, just suck. Don't pull it out of your ass at the last second and regret missing the other couple. Because you chuck two more with that, and it's a really good bag. Only got time for one more. He's gonna want to eat it soon. Should have heaps of time, but I definitely want to make sure I do. Right up, jump in, got a jacket. All right. Yeah, 
try to compliment it. I'll just check for me. Way and underway as Sydney Music is live stream hammering. It's a three day event and the anglers are fishing for a $6,000 first prize. We pay all the way down to the sixth for this event and they'll take home a thousand bucks. Estimator of fish weights in history. If not, if, I reckon you got like, mid, mid threes, I reckon, but let's just put on the scars and let it say it. Yeah, you're useless as usual. 3.42 kilos, mate. Grab your ticket and uh, I won't ask you too much about what happened today, but 3.42 is a good way of getting over the curve. Wait, no, it didn't. There, there was potential there to be better, don't you worry. Yeah, Alright, <laughs> we'll see you go tomorrow. Chris Hickson representing Dyer, we're here. It was, felt like I was fishing the right areas, but I think I just. I got the timing wrong in a lot of areas. I got the just I just got it wrong a lot. Um, but when I did get it right, I got a decent bite. So I ended up with a half decent bag, 3.4. Um, there was a tiny bit more potential there, but not a lot. But I have no idea what I'm going to do for the next two because I used pretty much everything I got. the crew. Ah. Good. So welcome anglers to day two of the Daiwa Brim Australian Open. Wally Fay leading this event with just under 3.7 kilos of brim. Good luck today. All right, so it, apparently we're starting. <laughs> it was not ready at all just then. Got a couple of rods out for the first spot. Um, yeah, gonna switch it up today. Gonna go east of the bridge, especially at the start, try and fish some, um, some high tide spots. Just do a, like a bit of a milk run of what I like down there and what I think's gonna have fish on it and we'll see how it pans out. Hopefully, the, hopefully we can stay away from the smaller fish. There I go. Warm ourselves into it a little. Lots of boats. Holy. Lots of boats coming east today. Holy. You can tell where the leaders were. It's a maybe. That's a maybe to brim. Nope. Rass. W R S. Couldn't get better conditions. It's mint. Just not up on there. Thought we might have seen blue cruising around this morning. It feels like a rass or a very little brim. That's nah, a brim. Put him on the stick, you reckon? Twenty-seven. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, Tom. They're good at catching the out, eh? They hit, and the first bit of the fight, hundred percent feels like a brim. <laughs> I'm not going in there, eh? <laughs> no, not in this boat. Three. Three more spots I really want to hit, and I'm not quite sure on the order of it, but we'll go to one straight away. If there's no one there, we'll just have a quick fish and get going. One hell of an estate, hey. So cool. Probably lose this hard body in there. That's a brim too. Didn't, 
Thanks for what's fighting annoyingly. Get up! That'll do. He's alright. He's a resident mulligan gold he is. See the crack it come from? So tight in there. Rock dweller. Real gold, not super fat. 31 to the forks. Or 31 and a half to the fork. Girl. I'll take that. A nice early, reasonable one. They're the ones we were missing yesterday. Oh, you just don't get much time to do anything. Eh? The wind gets you and you're just past everything so quick. It's ridiculous. If I hook one there, I'm done, eh? There's no way I'll land that. What is that? Oh, that's a brim. Holy. Coming down. It'll do. It'll do very only just hook. C31 again. He's tall, that one, isn't he? Not bad. Fish this dock and we'll go over to the point, I think. It's a bit of a shangle for this. Oh, that's a big ass brim on that rock. Holy. Surely he's going to eat that. Oh, there's someone rolling in there. You never see that. Oh man, I need to be sideways. Oh crap. That was him too. Get off the rocks. I think it was him. No, it don't look as big. Oh yeah it is. He's alright. Net's all messed up real bad. Get in here. Yeah. That was him. That's the one that was rolling. You should see how good he ate it too. He's alright, he's not that much bigger than the others, but solid. Look at that. Oh. 33 or something. Oh, only 34. Cool. We're on here, son. Oh, I missed him. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Oh. When he plucked at that, he grabbed the back hook. Like a, you just know when it's a bite like that, it's probably another reasonable fish too. That's good, that's good, that's good. I think, that's a brim, I think. Little one. Not that little. These are the ones we were missing yesterday. 29.4. Oh, I mean, the seal wasn't sitting in such a terrible spot, I'd say good day. I'll probably just start at the end and come back with a win. He was hauling from that one and just wanted to get to that one, eh? Sideways. No hook set. Bad hook set. Right, let's go bang some wolves, I reckon. <coughs> let's throw some things at some stuff. Tide's dropped out heaps, good. Oh, it's real low, eh? They have nowhere to hide in here. Set on the poles. Ooh. 
good one. It's a good one. It took him a while to wake up, but he's all right. <sighs> Solid. Solid fish. Things up, they're not bad. Those ones yesterday were like that porky. Put him in the big side. Cool. Bye bye. Exactly where I expected them to be, hey. Tires dropped out, having a nap. Can't resist something just dropped on their head. One every now and again's enough. Okay, so we're just down in um, in Watson's Bay, and it was windy, not too bad. Windy, come out of it. I was like, oh, it's a bit jiggly down there. Got to the point here, next level, 35 knots, three footers, just copping a hot, had to slow down and turn into it and just stick the nose up and plow through because we were going to get drowned. Regret coming over this side 100%, but here now, so I may as well fish it. Thought that was a bite then, eh? Such a critter, eh? Don't get your fingers in that pie hole, that's for sure. So many good ones too. He's an upgrade anyway. Wow, so many there. It's a decent upgrade. Three, 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 four, maybe. So yuck out there. One p.m. So we've got an hour to go. About fifteen minutes of travel time from where we are. So, say forty-five-ish minutes fishing. I reckon that'll be two spots. I should be able to get through two spots in that. I don't know which two, but I'll try and pick two that aren't crazy windy. Well. Oh yeah. What a mess. Um, I'm just trying to replicate something that I, like that bigger fish that I got yesterday afternoon. I'm pretty sure it was just sheer ass. Like just, I got lucky through in the right spot at the right time, but at least if you fish the same looking things, maybe, just maybe you can replicate it. Like odds on it's not gonna happen, but there's plenty of fish to live around here. Come on, just eat it properly. There we go. Oh, is that it? Felt okay, but it wasn't a good one. I don't believe it was. Pretty sure to put in the best part of it too. All right, let's get up to this one and then on. Reckon about very close to yesterday. Pretty much the same there. Average is bigger, but I don't have the. I think those two big ones I underestimated a fair bit yesterday. I think they're quite a bit heavier than I thought. Um, these fish are a bit skinnier, so yeah, it's that three, 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 four. I reckon. I'd say you need three point five 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 to take the lead. Let's see if Chris can do it. 3.415 maybe. There you go. So there's your way ticket. You can go and uh, stuff some muscles in the ones with a wire, mate. See, here you go. Tom Slater. How about 3.59? Bang, that is right on. That length weight could have dropped. Dong heads. Wait, see, you want the photo? <laughs> Let's 
got coffee. Welcome anglers to day three of the Daiwa Brim Australian Open. This is moving day. Is it going to be Steve Morgan in first place, Tom Slater in second place, or Chris Hickson in third place taking home the $6,000 winner's check? Or will it be one of these come from behind victories when a giant bag takes home the chocolates? Go catch some brim. Way more than on a crab. Get out. Um, hook up. Terrible. Another little bite. Little one. It's a little bit annoying. I don't know whether that dummy had a rock then or what happened. It 100% felt like a brim. Clean chopped. Nah. Now, right, let's get in the front. Catch this tide. Go towards them and come back around the point, I think. That way. That one bite or one fish in each spot would be good, brother. <laughs> oh, there's one. Now, I don't know what the goes of this hook up today, but 100% was a good brim then. No doubt. Like stopped like all those other ones yesterday. You didn't feel them bite yesterday, even on the hard body. You was just like wind up. You had weight. You're like, am I stuck? Come on! I saw that one. I doubt it. But I'll have a quick flick while we're going through. There's one. Why is it swimming at me like that? Kind of felt like a brim. Bit Trevor for sure, you watch. Oh, I think that was a brim. What's the odds of me getting a hook in one? <laughs> and keeping it the whole way to the boat? Slim at the moment. Next spot. Favorite color for doing this. Hey. I'm gonna measure them six. What do you reckon? 500? 27 and a half. A bit skinny, but. Oh, no, one. We've got one here. Uh, sunny Girl. Real good clear water color. Sun's just in the wrong spot there. That's not a brim, eh? Oh, here it is. Oh, that was a big one. Mm. Why are they not hooking up? Don't get enough chances at them at the moment. this run of wharves. Might as well stop and have a quick look on these boats on the way in. That sort of stuff. 
Oh, he's got that. There we go. There we go. The keeper. <gasps> oh, well. That can be the little side today. They should be chewing good. Like people should be catching pretty damn good. It just feels like that sort of day. I've just been cooking it at the start. Fishing dirty water, who knows how much. Too much time burned, I think. Even this, I hate eight knot zones when I'm struggling. Little one. Maybe keep, might have to measure that. Thanks for sitting down for a sec, brother. Much appreciated. I think you'd be legal, eh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, a five. Five of the smallest brim you'd ever wish to catch on Sydney Harbour. At 7.30 this morning, would have been cool. Not a problem, all good, pressure's off. At 12 o'clock, all bad, real bad. I can see a couple on that boat. So. <laughs> Too small. run back up towards the start, try and hopefully they're there, hopefully no one's been on them, I'd say they have, but, um, and then just bounce a couple of like 10 car spots at the end. Upgrade, so I should have been fishing up here yesterday somewhere. Look how fat they are. Wow, that's bad. That's a bad sack. That's him, it's easy to find that one. See you, mate. All right, about half an hour's fishing left. I had, had a good plan, but just got talked because of the boat left one and went to the other one. Two seconds. Pretty sure there's one sitting on that hanging. And then they came right up to the side and I thought they might have been jackets and I saw a bit of a flash. It's not one of them, but it's a fish. That was a good move. Also very, very worrying. Oh, hit that electric at the wrong time then, hey. Just started, he just come out to look at it and I banged the electric and went, ah! <laughs> no! Just some high speed boat fishing. I probably could do just as good here and not waste time, but. Come on, show me something. Don't make me leave them to find them. That's real dumb. <laughs> oh, wait. Little one. It's gone too. So I'll stick to this one. Oh, it could have been him, eh? It 
really could have. That was a big ass head shake. <laughs> Just didn't hit him hard enough. Yeah, that's gotta be a jacket, surely. Line stopped, he's either got it or it's on the bottom. He's got it. Saw that line stop. Hey, I was like, sure, he's got that. It's not great, but it's better than it was gonna be. Holy, still really bad, but not completely embarrassing like it was. Because what was in there before I started doing this was bad, bad, very bad. That sounder is out to my phone, which is possibly not good. Fire. Two minutes. Not great. No. That's the two minutes you need. Yeah. <laughs> like a legit. Gotta be real tight. Play these first, then we're going to yep. talk about the stories you need. 2.885 to take the lead. I reckon you're going to go real close. 2.885 to take the lead. 3.05 kilos. <laughs> Proving once again your crap at playing fish. Three kilos is always strong on day three of the open. It's going to get you a paycheck this time. How about 3.13? We have a new leader. That's what they're back in the bunker. I really don't know what to say. I've always, always sort of uh, got words in the mouth, but I don't really have many at the moment. So we're going to wrap up the live way in here. 